Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a Stockton Norteño named Valentin Vivero. Valentin is a Stockton Norteño from a gang called the Triple Six Gangsters. Two Norteño gangs in Stockton, Southside Stockton and its offshoot, the Triple Six Gangsters, began committing crimes against each other in about 2009. In September 2011, a Triple S member was killed. A few days later, Rachel, the mother of Felix and Marcello, both members of the Triple Six Gangsters, was shot and killed in retaliation. All told, the feud between the two gangs resulted in more than a dozen drive-by shootings, assaults involving deadly weapons, and homicides. As a result of their feud, the two gangs became the subject of an investigation called Operation Triple Play in December 2014. July 13, 2015 was the one-year anniversary of the death of Sam, a Triple S member who had been shot and killed. Ray, Christina, Michael, and others visited Sam's grave. Ray was a founding member of the Triple S and influential within the gang. Maria went with Christina to the cemetery but visited a different grave. Michael is Sam's brother. Michael denied being a Triple S member himself or that his tattoos referenced the Norteño gang. A police officer for the city of Stockton testified that Christina and Michael were also gang members, though he did not specify which gang they were members of. At about the same time as the gathering at Sam's grave, Valentin's black SUV was captured on surveillance video at the cemetery. Valentin is a member of the Triple Six Gangsters. He went to the cemetery for a separate gathering to memorialize Rachel, whose grave is at the cemetery. It was her birthday. Later that evening, some of the people who had visited Sam's grave went to a house on McLeod Avenue to talk and drink beer. About 10 people were at the house, including the five victims in this case. Ray, Henry, Michael, Christina, and Maria. Around 9 p.m., gunshots came from the street near the corner of McLeod Avenue and Northwood Lane. Maria and Christina were sitting in a circle of chairs in the front yard with two other women. Ray was standing next to them, talking to his friends. Maria and Christina both went to the ground when they heard gunshots. Maria could not say how many shots she heard other than it was a lot. All I could tell you is that it was ongoing and never stopped. Maria was shot in her leg and her arm. Christina was shot in her right elbow and her left hip. When the shooting started, Ray ran toward the pool in the front yard but fell to the ground by the corner of the house and the pathway to the house before he got there. The gunshots continued at least briefly. Michael was standing in the pathway when he heard the gunshots. At first, he thought he was hearing fireworks. Michael caught a ricochet and still has bullet fragments in his left wrist. After the sound of the gunfire ended, Michael got up and tried to help Ray, who was still on the ground and not responding. Ray died of a gunshot wound to his back. Ray Ortega was a member of the rival Southside Stockton gang. Henry, another Triple S member, was also shot. He was found inside the house, lying on the floor with an entrance and exit wound to his leg. His shin appeared to be missing a section of flesh and bone the size of a baseball. Part of the remaining bone was protruding. There were multiple bullet holes in the front windows, walls, and door. The exterior wall, in particular, had over 25 bullet strikes to it. One window had shattered. Some of the interior walls had bullet holes as well. One bullet fragment went through several walls. Another was found in the bathtub. Law enforcement found 58 shell cases near a backyard fence line on Northwood Lane, about 100 to 150 feet from the house on McLeod Avenue. An expert in firearms identification, tool mark identification, and the comparative analysis of firearms opinion based on the casings that at least three assault style weapons were used in the shooting. On July 23, 2015, police officers conducted a traffic stop on a car Valentin was driving. The officers ordered Valentin and the other occupants to come out one at a time. Daniel was the passenger. Santiago was sitting behind Valentin, and RF was sitting behind Daniel. When RF got out of the car, a loaded handgun fell on the ground. Daniel had a loaded handgun in his waistband. An officer found a third loaded handgun under Valentin's seat. The barrel was facing toward the back of the car, and the handle was under the very front of the seat where Valentin could access it. Santiago and Daniel are members of the Triple Six Gangsters. RF is an Orteño gang member. Valentin testified that he told the officers he did not have any knowledge of the firearms in the car because he did not want to be arrested and lose his job. 
he admitted he put the gun directly under his seat and that he was with fellow gang members. In October 2016, a jury convicted Valentin Vivero of carrying a concealed firearm in a vehicle while being an active participant in a criminal street gang. The jury found that the murder was first degree and the attempted murders were willful, deliberate, and premeditated. The trial court sentenced Valentin Vivero to a total term of 190 years to life plus one year and eight months in prison.